The future is now, or at least coming sooner than we think. It's no secret that Tesla has no shortage of ongoing and announced projects in the works, and the bar is set extremely high for the expectations the EV truck line has to meet. CEO of Tesla Elon Musk first teased the crowd on its new vision to produce a mega beast which he called the Cybertruck at the Tesla Semi's unveiling way back in 2017. And since then, Tesla has steadily been announcing exciting updates on the production of the Cybertruck. The Cybertruck's boxy exterior had people skeptical in the beginning, but its performance capacity is what has most people pre-ordering the beast years before the production model is set to drop. What should we expect from Tesla, and when would we get a final update before its possibly imminent release? Let's find out. Trucks are loved all over the world, and not just for how they can handle themselves through rough terrains, but can also serve as a passenger car tier and a powerful tow truck for other vehicles. The Tesla Cybertruck is absolutely a dream come true for the EV truck line. A third-party Tesla Cybertruck camper system has received over $50 million worth of orders, even though the product doesn't even exist yet. That just goes to show how excited people are for the new electric pickup trucks and all the kinds of adventures you can do with them. And although the shockingly rectangular Tesla Cybertruck with its high-strength stainless steel skin and improbable triangular silhouette had a lot of people stunned and skeptical, some were fascinated by its unique look, and others showed their concerns about its effectiveness as a pickup truck. However, with the deliveries of the new Model 3, Model S, and Model Y, Tesla's timetable looks a bit overcrowded and has a lot of people skeptical and wondering if Tesla can deliver on the Cybertruck's initially stated launch date without compromising any of the features. The Tesla Cybertruck is an all-electric, battery-powered, light-heavy-duty truck announced by Tesla. The stated goal of Tesla for developing the Cybertruck was to produce a sustainable energy substitute for the roughly 6,500 fossil fuel-powered pickup trucks sold per day in the United States. In 2012 and 2013, Elon Musk discussed his desire to build a truck with load-compensating suspension. And in 2014, Musk predicted four to five years before work could start on production. During the Tesla Semi and Tesla Roadster unveiling in November of 2017, a picture of the Cybertruck was displayed. Ever since Elon Musk unveiled the Cybertruck, there have been many rumors about what to expect from it and when to expect it. Tesla CEO Elon Musk has said that an update on the Cybertruck is due soon and intended to go into production in late 2021. The Cybertruck is Tesla's first pickup truck and aesthetically a major departure from the rest of the range. The Tesla Cybertruck is built with an exterior shell made for ultimate durability and passenger protection starting with a nearly impenetrable exoskeleton. Every component is designed for superior strength and endurance, from the ultra-hard 30 times cold-rolled stainless steel structural skin to Tesla's armor, ultra-strong glass and polymer-layered composite that can absorb and redirect impact force for improved performance and damage tolerance. The Tesla Cybertruck possesses a rugged strength with the ability to pull a near-infinite mass and towing capability of over 14,000 pounds. Tesla reckons the Cybertruck had a 2,830 liters of lockable cargo capacity. This includes the load bed, which Tesla calls the vault, the frunk, and even more storage behind the side windows. The Cybertruck has integrated 120 volt and 240 volt power points, which turns into a kind of a mobile mini power station. A video of the Cybertruck pulling a rear wheel drive Ford F-150 uphill in a tug of war resulted in 14,000 comments and 619,000 likes on Twitter. In January 2020, Automobile Magazine named Cybertruck the concept car of the year for 2019. The truck can perform in almost any extreme situation with ease. The ultra-hard 30 times cold-rolled stainless steel helps eliminate dents, damage, and long-term corrosion with a smooth monochrome exoskeleton that puts the shell on the exterior, providing maximum protection for everybody within. The 30 times cold rolled stainless steel Tesla uses is so hard that a normal stamping press would break if applied to these steel plates. However, these steel plates can still be bent in different ways. Inside, the angular design theme continues with geometric seatbacks and a flat shelf-like dashboard. Owners of pickup trucks would be familiar with the six-seat layout, which includes a jump seat in the front row. However, unlike a normal pickup truck, there is a massive 17-inch touchscreen and a yoke-shaped steering wheel that also is seen in the new Tesla Model S Plaid and Model X Plaid. 
The Tesla Cybertruck also possesses features like an onboard air compressor, which would make it easier to use on camping trips or for building sites. The performance and efficiency level of the Tesla Cybertruck is on a new class of strength, speed, and versatility, and this is only possible with an all-electric design. The powerful drivetrain and low center of gravity provide extraordinary traction control and torque, which enables the acceleration from 0 to 60 miles per hour in as little as 2.9 seconds and up to 500 miles of range. Musk says the truck will be available in three forms when it goes into production. A single motor could go from 0 to 60 miles per hour in 6.5 seconds, with a max speed of 110 miles per hour and cost about $39,000. The dual-engine all-wheel drive model will do the same sprint in 4.5 seconds and have a top speed of 110 miles an hour and cost about $49,000. Then there's the tri-motor, which would cost approximately $70,000. These are pretty heady numbers for any vehicle, let alone a Tesla Cybertruck with a boggling max towing capacity above 14,000 pounds. But if there's any organization that could pull off this bold version of the future, let's best believe Tesla could do it. Tesla's boss, Elon Musk, said in a tweet that if they got lucky, they would be able to do a few deliveries toward the end of this year, but said he expected volume production in 2022. The Cybertrucks will be built at Tesla's new Gigafactory in Austin, Texas, which could be up and running as soon as May. Cybertrucks unveiling, delay and setbacks. The Cybertruck was unveiled at the Tesla Design Studio in Los Angeles on November 21st, 2019. During the unveiling, Tesla claimed that the armored glass windows were virtually unbreakable, but two windows shattered when Franz von Holzhausen, head of design at Tesla, threw a metal ball at them. Musk jokingly exclaimed that the ball didn't make it through. He later went on to explain that the windows were damaged because, in an earlier demonstration, the door had been hit by a sledgehammer, and that had cracked the base of the glass. It seems like the Tesla Cybertruck could be delayed, with deliveries being initially expected to happen in 2021. Musk delayed and avoided some questions in the past on matters concerning the release of the Cybertruck. Tesla owners online, on an online forum, directly asked Musk on April 16, 2021, if the deliveries of the truck should be expected later that year. Musk didn't answer the question, but he did state that they expected limited production of Model Y this year and a high volume next year. In a statement to the queries for an unveiling date, Musk stated in late July, quote, we're close, but the magic is in the final details. It's no secret that one thing Tesla has consistently struggled with is manufacturing and rollout, whether due to the cost of its battery production or scarcity of resources required to produce those components. Furthermore, there's no doubt that the Cybertruck's edgy design would turn heads on the road. But for some industry insiders, they expressed concern that in the present state, the truck wouldn't offer sufficient pedestrian impact protection to be legal for use in Europe. Musk had previously mused that the original design should be shrunk by 3% to accommodate the often smaller and more crowded roads of European countries. Musk said in the Rogan interview, quote, you don't want it to be a couple of inches too big for the tunnel about the Boring Company's projects. In another tweet, he revealed that they were working on increasing dynamic air suspension for travel for better off-roading, stating that the truck needs to kick butt in Baja. This adaptive air suspension will let the Cybertruck raise or lower itself up to four inches. The system will also have self-leveling, which means that the truck can adjust the height and stiffness of each wheel's suspension to distribute the load as evenly as possible, and this is very ideal for taking on uneven surfaces. The lengthy delay to finalize the truck's design may suggest the finished look could noticeably look different compared to the first concept that wowed the crowds in 2019. This may also have had an impact on production plans. The first Cybertruck to reach production will be the most powerful tri-motor variants, according to an earlier report. The Tesla Cybertruck has come home, or at least to some degree, as can be seen from the recent pictures and videos from Giga Texas. The all-electric pickup truck recently paid a visit to the upcoming EV factory. The Cybertruck's visit was confirmed by Elon Musk, who noted that he drove the vehicle around the massive construction complex. The production and launch of the Tesla Cybertruck are definitely going to propel Tesla to one of the best in the EV truck line. New vehicles and modifications always gain a lot of attention, but none more so than the yet-to-be-released Cybertruck being developed by Elon Musk. Thanks for watching, and make sure to like and subscribe for more updates on the Cybertruck. Peace!